Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 109. What we're doing with MemberScript 109 is making custom multi-select fields. So I'm sure you've seen them before and they're quite difficult to implement. And if you use a library such as Select2, which we actually have another MemberScript for, your customization options are fairly limited. So this has a built-in search. Everything is completely editable within Webflow. You can use it in member stack forms and it'll pre-fill. So anyways, let me show you some of that right now. So in this case, what we have is a state selector. So if I go ahead and click this, as we can see a couple different things, let's go ahead and do California. As we can see, it comes up in search. Now, if I hit down on my keyboard and hit enter, then California gets selected. Along with that, I can click down and select Arizona. For example, I can type in Delaware, select that. I can hover over them. I can click one whatever it is. And then as you can see, when I do that and I hit update profile, then go into member stack, as we can see, it gets updated just like that. And now if I go back here and I refresh, as we can see, that is being pre-filled. I can go ahead, edit it, let's say remove Delaware, and then just hit update profile. And again, as we're going to see, Delaware is gone. So that's how it works. Now let me show you how to implement it in Webflow. First things first, these have attributes. So pretty much everything here has attributes. I'm not going to list off the attributes in this video as I usually do because there are quite a few of them. My strong recommendation is to clone this project and then copy and paste the wrapper. Here, as you can see, form select wrapper, that is where everything, including this bit, are contained in. So if you copy and paste this, you're good to go. That's my recommendation. And along with that, what you're gonna need to do, first of all, is copy the code. So as we can see here, we have the member script 109 script, which is quite long because, well, this has quite a few features to it. So just copy that, paste it in, and you'll be good to go. And like I said, copy and paste this UI here into your form and it will work. What I am gonna show you now though, is all of the things that you are probably going to want to change. So first things first, when it comes to styling, there should be no limitations. You should be able to style this in any way that you want and it will work. The only thing is that it needs to be inside of this ms-code-select-wrapper equals multi. Everything, all of your UI and everything needs to go inside of that. Other than that, you can style it however you want, spacing, you name it. Um, along with that, as we can see here, this empty state, you can change this to be whatever you want. And finally, what you're going to want to do in here is, first of all, I would recommend adding autocomplete off as an attribute. Uh, it does mess with the overall user experience if auto select is enabled for it. Um, along with that, we have ms-code-select-options. And these are the options that are going to be populated. As you can see here, we did the 50 US states. So don't add a space in between the options, just a comma and then carry on. You can have spaces within your options, such as New Hampshire, as you can see here, but between the options, just a comma, no space, and that is it. So once you do that, everything should be working exactly as intended. You can change the name of this field to whatever you want. You can change the placeholder to whatever you want and everything will be working exactly as I showed you in the video. Now, if it's not, if you're having any issues or if you have any questions, let me know in the member stack 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.